Hey guys, Miles here at Tactical Hive with another training tool review for you. This time I'm going to be covering doing an in-depth dive on the Blackbeard system by Mantis. As a competitive shooter who dry fires a lot, shoots a lot, I'm always looking for more effective, more efficient, and more enjoyable ways to do things. And when it comes to AR dry fire, I think Mantis really hit it out of the park. So if you're interested, stay tuned to this review. So as I mentioned, I shoot a lot, I dry fire a lot, and if you dry fire also, you know the importance of it, but you know that with a pistol, for example, it can be very boring and cumbersome. What's worse is with a rifle, I would say it's even more boring because things are a little bit more simpler. Shooting a rifle is simpler and there's less moving parts, less variables. So it becomes quite easier than a pistol. And because it's boring or can be boring, people probably may not dry fire as much as they should with their rifle. And this is where the Mantis Blackbeard really comes in. This is an tr amazing dry fire tool for your AR. And I'm just gonna go out and say that probably it is the best out there in the market right now. There's nothing like it. So if you've been on the fence already about buying a Mantis Blackbeard, you know, you don't even have to watch this review. I'm telling you right now, it is well worth it. It is an amazing training tool. The Blackbeard system has been out for a while now and I've been using it for about a year. And there is now a newer version called the Blackbeard X. So if you are going to buy, you might want to choose you know, or decide which one is best for you. But the, this review, the operation is pretty much the same. The difference is, is that the normal black beard system, you can use the Mantis X10 sensors, but you would have to attach it onto the magazine or the rifle. Whereas the Blackbeard X, and I'll go into the differences, a little bit more of the differences later on, but the Blackbeard X has the Mantis sensor built into the magazine, so you don't have to buy it separately. So just understand that. But the functionality, which I'm gonna be going over today, is the same. And whether you wanna buy the standard Blackbeard system or the Blackbeard X, we have a little promo going on. So if you buy the Mantis through the link below or the link above here, we're going to give you a free course called Carbon Essentials, which is going to be a good complement to users of a Blackbeard system, especially if you're first starting out new to dry fire, the online course is really going to help you. So you can get more information in the description below. Now let's dive into the full review about the Blackbeard system. I'm going to talk about what it is, how it works, the things I like, the things I didn't like, and some other considerations. <laughs> So what is the Blackbeard system? It is a two-piece system that you're going to add to your rifle and it will automatically reset your trigger while with every trigger squeeze, you're going to have a laser emitted so you can actually see what you're shooting. So when you receive the Blackbeard from Mantis, it comes in a nice case here and it's really simple. As I mentioned, there's two main pieces here. You're going to get this component here which is going to replace your bolt carrier group as well as your charging handle on your rifle. And then you have this battery pack slash magazine, which is going to power this bolt so that it will automatically reset your trigger. And I'll discuss that in a little bit. In addition to these two components here, you will have some instructions as well as a USB cord to charge the battery pack and Allen wrench as well to zero the laser when you're using it with your AR. There's also different versions you can get when it comes to the actual laser here. You can get one that shoots a red laser, a green laser, nothing at all. So it's, you're really just using the Blackbeard just for a trigger reset. Or if you're an alien military, you might want the IR laser version. So it's going to emit a laser that you can see only if you're using night vision. With just these two components, you can get a lot of great dry fire training in. The motor on this battery, the system, the automatic resetting is going to allow you to take a lot of shots multiple times. You don't have to worry about racking the, your charging handle or any of that. And the fact that you can shoot a laser will allow you to see where you're hitting. And I'm gonna dive into the applications and you know the overall benefits that I really like about this. And one of them is that you can really work your holdover so that laser is really going to come in handy. But for me, the, the really the, the biggest selling point when it comes to dry fire is manipulating your trigger learning your trigger intimately, proper trigger control, and this is going to allow you to do that. So now that we covered what it is and the basic functionality, let's discuss how it works. Mm -hmm. 
Now you might be wondering, how does this actually work? What is the black magic behind this? This bolt is going to, there's a little notch here, okay, that is going to catch the hammer. All right, so when you're actually breaking a shot with your AR, this bolt is gonna catch it. And the battery pack connects with the top part here, the bolt, and you can see the contact points here. All right, so when you insert this into your AR, it's going to touch these contact points. And when this bolt catches the hammer of your AR, the battery pack electrically pushes the hammer back. So it resets your trigger automatically. Right, so there's no damage, there's no other moving parts. It really is just your hammer running into this and then it automatically resets it. Installing the Blackbeard system is really simple. All you have to do is pop your upper and your lower apart, take out your bolt carrier group and your charging handle, insert this as your new bolt carrier group and charging handle, close your upper and your lower, and then insert the mag and then you're ready to go. Now because of the ever changing YouTube policies, we don't really know if they're allowing us to, you know, uh, disassemble rifles or, or show you how to attach this. So if you're interested, you want step-by-step -step picks, we have a text review also that you can check out in the link below and uh, link up here. So we'll show you pics of how it's actually installed. So what we're gonna do is just jump frame to when we already have assembled this together and then we'll continue the review. So here it is fully assembled, really easy. Just pop it open, insert the parts. You'll see here the bolt carrier group that's provided and then the battery slash magazine. And to use it, it's exactly how you would use your rifle here. You are going to take your rifle off safe and then by pressing the trigger, there's going to be a little bit of electrical sound because this is going to electrically push the, the hammer back into place, reset the, your trigger. So when you squeeze it, you'll hear that, but notice it pushes the trigger back. So operation is simple, and every time I am squeezing this trigger, a laser is being emitted from the Blackbeard system, so you know where you're shooting. So it's a really awesome device here in that you can get tons of trigger presses in without having to worry about charging your handle. You can focus on what your vision is supposed to be doing, your targets, and you can also have visual confirmation if you're hitting your targets with the laser. And that's really powerful because no other tool allows you to do this right now. Not that I'm aware of when it comes to ARs. So this is why I mentioned it possibly is the greatest dry fire tool for ARs out in the market right now. Now you know the basic assembly and the operation, which is really simple. Before you start going crazy with your training, you wanna make sure your laser zero to your red dot. And you do this by using the provided Allen wrench to adjust your windage and your elevation. Here along the the top part here, their bolt carrier group, there's going to be three important parts. You'll see that you can turn your laser on permanently so that it's not going to be on only when you squeeze the trigger. This is meant more for zeroing. So when you have it turned on, there's just a little lever here and you can swap it back and forth with this Allen wrench. And if you're zeroing, you want the laser to be permanently on so that you can adjust it so that it's aligned with your red dot and you adjust things with these two notches here. One is for elevation and the other is for windage. It's very simple. And then you're going to make sure that that laser lines up with your zeroed red dot. Then you're good to go. So I've, I have this, it's relatively zeroed at about 25 yards. Uh, one of the shortcomings is that of this, uh, which I'll dive into a little bit more, is you can't get a precise zero, but for what you're going to be using it for, it is, is perfectly fine. Um, I noticed that this is at about a 25 yard zero and th for your average shooter, it is most likely going to be where you're zeroing at, but if you wanted to do a 50 yard zero, things like that, it might be a little bit more difficult or you might have to have a, um, special zeroing targets. When it comes to using the Blackbeard system, I did also want to talk a little bit about the battery right now. When you first get the system, you want to make sure you charge the battery. Don't use it right away. And there's a USB cord provided with the case, with the whole entire system that plugs right into the side. And it's gonna take some time to fully charge this. When I initially charged this, I remember actually recording the time. It took about 12 hours for a full charge. And there are battery indicators here that will light and you will be able to tell if it's fully charged. In terms of how long one charge will last, it's gonna last you for a long time. And I'm gonna talk more about that in the section where I talk about what I just like in general about the system. When it comes to the features, benefits, and the things I like about the Blackbeard, there's, there's quite a lot. And you pretty much can do anything you can live fire with this. You're just not gonna get the recoil impulse. You even know where your shots are going because of the laser. 
But for me, the biggest benefit here is that you can really improve your speed and accuracy during dry fire. And it's because we are working proper trigger control with the Blackbeard. It is resetting your trigger. You get the same exact feel of your reset and actual pull. I've used this on different rifles of mine and I don't notice a difference. If there is a difference at all, it's very negligible and I, I, can't, I can't feel it. So you're going to feel the exact sensitivity of your trigger and so you're learning proper trigger control. You're taking multiple shot engagements and this is going to allow you to improve your speed and accuracy. You might be wondering how. So with speed, the whole idea of shooting fast is not about how fast you squeeze the trigger. It's how fast you come off the trigger after you break a shot and come back on it, okay? So this is going to allow you to do that by, by squeezing the trigger, it's gonna force you to reset so you're ready to take another shot. So you're not pinning the trigger to the rear. So you can really work on speed and get lots of shots off. And with the Mantis Blackbeard, they mentioned that it can reset 10 times in a second. So I don't think anyone has a, a trigger fast enough to do that, um, but you can if you wanted to, all right? So, or if you're, if you're able to. So you can really work the speed here with your multiple shot engagements and work that trigger control. Accuracy is worked on as well because now you can see where your shots are going with the laser, right? Without a question, it's no longer about noticing where your red dot or iron sights were and calling your shot. You can see where your shot went. But accuracy is also worked on because you now are learning how to come back onto your trigger. So I talked about how speed is about coming off your trigger and back on it, but accuracy is about how you come back on it, okay? So it's not just about the act of coming back on it, it's how you come back onto your trigger to take that next shot. What do I mean by that? So I'm going to pull the trigger, I hear the shot go off, I'm going to reset. If I come back, I'm gonna exaggerate, I'm, I'm losing contact with my trigger, okay, on purpose so you can see that, but if I just smash this, slapping it and I'm moving the rifle left and right too so you don't see it but when I actually was doing that I was jerking the trigger and the rifle is moving left and right okay so if I'm just moving my finger as fast as I can with reckless abandon yes I might shoot fast but now the rifle might be moving because I'm disturbing the sights because of an improper trigger pull so you can improve your accuracy as well in addition to speed by resetting and coming back on this the proper way. What is the proper way? Following proper trigger control principles. Straight to the rear, moving just your trigger finger, and using constant speed and just enough effort to actually break your shot. So if you had a three pound trigger, all you need to put is about a little bit more than three pounds of weight to break your shot, rather than putting five pounds of pressure, 20 pounds of pressure, which could potentially shank your shot, okay? Make it deviate from where you're aiming. Another thing I really like about the Blackbird system is that you can work your holdovers. If you're not familiar with what that is, it refers to height over board, the, your red dot or your optics height over the actual board. Because notice, if I'm holding this rifle here, the red dot is much higher than where my muzzle is, right, where the bullet is actually coming out. So if you're aiming at a certain distance, okay, if you're aiming at a target, let's say up close, if there, let's say there was a target right here next to me, my red dot would be higher than my muzzle here. And so the bullet is going to be lower than where my red dot is. And so the Mantis, know, you know, anyone who shoots a red dot or a rifle knows this, and the Mantis is going to allow you to see that visual feedback when you squeeze the trigger. You're going to know where the laser is. So for example, if I have a target down range and I'm facing center or, or I'm, I'm actually aimed in center, my red dot's right here, and I'm really close, I will see the laser shoot lower, right? Depending on your zero, it might be three inches, four inches, then the distance you're shooting from. But the idea is it's going to force you to adjust your red dot. So for example, the Tactical Hive logo right here. If I was at about seven yards with my gun, okay, and I shot right here, the red dot and my optic was right here, the laser would go down about three inches. So that tells me I have to do a holdover. So if I actually want to hit the tactile hive icon, I would have to aim about three inches higher, then it will actually hit where I want to aim or where I'm aiming. And that is what I refer to as a holdover. So this is great because as you are working your drills, you can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want. I might be aiming at a target, then I'll physically see where the laser was. That can be a good reminder that, hey, you know what? You got to work your holdovers, you're way low make your red dot higher or, or place your red dot higher. Now, one thing to note is that you cannot, as you move further, further back, you're not gonna be able to see the laser that easy. So holdovers are really meant for 
up close engagement. So it will work completely fine for working holdovers because again, it's going to be at a closer distance. Now, when you are training, let's say I'm over here shooting 50 yard targets or anything like that, now you're going to have to rely on proper dry fire training techniques and practices where you will not be able to see the laser 50 yards away. Okay, so you're not gonna physically see the laser that this shoots. So now you fall back to looking at where your red dot was or your iron sights was a movement and you would call your shot that way. You would determine if you were accurate by whether or not when you, when you broke the shot, was your red dot steady on what you wanted to hit. But as you're up close, if you're training up close, then you can see the actual laser and you won't have to worry about guessing. The third benefit, and what I really like about the Blackbeard system, is that you can use your own equipment, right? So this is my own rifle. I don't have to really change anything. And as I talked about, manipulations and the feel are exactly how I feel it when I'm shooting live fire, right? So if you notice a difference, it probably will be negligible. I've tried this as I've talked about in different rifles and everything's the same. So I really do like that. Next is the ease of use. I already talked about how it's a two-part system. You're just popping it open, your upper and receiver, and then replace your, your bolt carrier group with the top component here from the Blackbird system, and then add the magazine, and you are ready to go. There's, it's super simple. And this is something that you can use anywhere. You can literally use this anywhere because it's not a big clunky system that you have to lug around, it just comes in this little case. You can use your home at the range here, it doesn't matter because you can pretty much do anything you can with an AR with the Blackbeard system. Another thing I really like about the Blackbeard system is that you can use it with pretty much any laser target system out there. If you shoot the laser, the laser target is going to recognize that the Blackbeard is shooting that laser and then it could either flash, make a sound, so you can use different systems out there. As I alluded to, it also works with the Mantis X10 Elite sensors or that fam the family of sensors. If you don't have the Blackbeard X and you have the standard Blackbeard, then you would have to attach the sensor to your rifle or the magazine, but you can absolutely use the Mantis X10 sensor or any of the other sensors, as well as Mantis's Laser Academy. You can definitely use the Blackbeard system with that. The last thing I really like, and it's a huge benefit, is that this is a great training tool for law enforcement and military. One, I already mentioned how they have an IR version, so for those in the military who are using night vision, you can get your work in in the shoot house, actually see where your shots are going, because when you're working the shoot house, you're in close distances, right? CQB distances, you're not looking for a laser that's 50 yards away, you are within you know, three, seven, 10 yards, and you can still see that laser. So I think it's a very great training tool because people who use an AR as a primary weapon system for their job can really get good reps, effective reps, efficient reps, and know exactly what they're doing because of the laser, and you're building the neurotransmitters, that good muscle memory, so to speak, to really have good trigger control with your own weapon system that people in the military or law enforcement would be using on the job. There's really a lot of benefits and features and things I like about the Blackbeard system. But despite that, there are some areas of improvement and some limitations. The first shortcoming is that you can't really practice magazine changes cost effectively. What I mean by that. It comes with one magazine here, as you see, but this is the battery pack here and it's not meant to be dropped on the ground. So if you even bought more than one of these, you can practice your mag changes. Maybe it's a soft bedding or soft mattress that you're using, but then you wouldn't be able to move around or anything like that. So you definitely can release the mag, get a different one and insert it and it would still work, but this is not meant to be dropped, okay? It's, it's pretty fragile here and it could can, it can break. Next, you can't really work on malfunctions because you can't really deal with your mag, change mags, and the charging handle doesn't really work, okay? This is just here for the actual Blackbeard system to work, but it doesn't actually move, okay? It's just that motor inside. So you won't be able to work on reloads and malfunctions. Despite that though, I think this is, you know, it's not the point to work reloads and malfunctions. This is about working speed and accuracy, trigger control, multiple shot engagements, knowing where your shot's gone with the laser. So yes, you can't work malfunctions and reloads, but the Blackbeard system isn't meant for that. And you could go back to your normal magazine or setup without the Blackbeard to work on those different skill sets. Another issue I had, albeit very, very minor, is I wasn't able to see the laser in bright light conditions. And this is, you know, it's just normal. 
Uh, the laser though I noticed is compared to a number of different laser cartridges I've seen, the laser emitted by the Blackbeard system was very, very tiny. And um, so in very bright light conditions, you won't be able to see it. But in typical dry fire conditions, which you'll probably be at your home and you can be using a shoot house as well, you're going to see the laser up close in distances where you actually could see up to that distance. Again, if you are at 50 yards, 60 yards, 70 yards, you're not going to be able to see anything. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But outdoors, if you do want to train outdoors for whatever reason, then you can probably wait until you know, the, the sun is setting a little bit or it's not that sunny outside. Another shortcoming of the Blackbeard system, albeit minor as well, is the zeroing process, which I already alluded to that you can zero this uh, well enough to practice and get really good reps in, but um, I noticed it's hard to get a precise zero, so if you're nitpicky, then uh, you, that might upset you. But definitely, I, I, I wasn't. It's just I'm mentioning this to you so that you're aware of it. You're not going to get an exact zero, and if your rifles are zeroed at 50 or 100 yards, for example, you would need proper zeroing targets to really zero with this laser because you wouldn't be able to see it 50 yards away or you know 100 yards away unless you are using you know a high powered optic or something like that but just keep that in mind when it comes to zeroing the last little gripe is the charging time for the battery pack here. As I mentioned, the initial charging time for this was about uh, 12 hours. And, and then after that, I never really measured it anymore. So once my battery pack went dead, I would just put charge it when I went to sleep and then in the morning it'd be all charged up. But the one good thing about this battery pack is it lasts a long time. And I can't, I can't honestly say how many rounds I've put through this, how many shots, just because it's harder to manage because I don't have physical rounds to count uh, or know what's in a canister or ammo can because you're just constantly shooting this. And I've lost count for how long it lasts, but it's long enough to the point where I've never had to worry about this dying during a dry fire session. And periodically what I'll do is I'll put the USB cord in here to see there's light indicators at the top and I'll see, okay, what's the charge like? I will fully charge it if there's one bar, but every time I've had even at least two bars, it lasts a dry fire session. So I don't have any worries about how long the battery lasts. It's more about the time it takes to charge it. At this point, you might be wondering, have there been any catastrophic failures or things I really don't like, anything bad about the operation? I have used this for a year, so you know you expect something to happen. And yes, something did happen, and it happens from time to time, where initially, I would always have crisp trigger pulls, the reset would be perfect. Right now, it's working perfectly too. But once in a while, the motor will it will just not work properly. But it might not work properly for one trigger pull, but then immediately after that, it's, it's back to normal. And this just could be a function of, um, you know, maybe, maybe parts getting a little bit used up, worn out, I, I don't really know. Or maybe it's something mechanical inside. But for the most part, it works completely fine. Just once in a while, there will be that trigger pull or kind of, it just feels different because of the, the actual physical motor in the, this component here. So some things to consider if you're planning on buying the Mantis Blackbeard. First, the laser, okay? So they, it comes in green, it comes in red, uh, it comes with no laser at all or infrared. If you plan on shooting laser targets, I highly recommend you use the red laser. A lot of uh, different targets out there in the market, the green laser isn't always picked up. So just keep that in mind. If you go with a green laser, you know, it can be seen, you know, a lot of people think that it's uh, for them. Personally, it's easier to see the green laser, but it may not work with all systems out there. Another thing to note before buying the Blackbeard system is if you use a reticle that is pretty busy, right? For example, EOTech has that circle and then dots in the middle or a dot in the middle. You might not see the laser that you shoot because your reticle might overlay or they might overlap together. So just keep that in mind. If you use a simple red dot, just one red dot, the chances of you seeing your, the actual laser emitted are much higher. If you have a busy reticle, there might be some overlap and you might not really see the laser. Another thing to take note of, I never had this issue with my Blackbird system, but a lot of other people who reviewed the system have issues with charging where the USB cable didn't fit with the connection point here on the magazine or the battery, and they would have to physically open this up to shift the USB or the, the, the USB port here. I never had that issue, but just something to take note of. If you do get a Mantis system and that happens, you can't align uh, the USB cord with this port, then you will have to do some physical adjustments. 
The last thing to consider is more about dry fire in general with a laser. And I want to point this up because dry fire is really great to get the reps in to practice. But if you're dry firing incorrectly, you're going to build bad habits. And sometimes a bad habit is to always look for that laser. Rather than looking at your intended target, you're looking at your target, but then looking for the laser. This is more of a beginner mistake, but I want that to be known because a lot of people, they are going to pay attention so much on that, rather than the mechanics of everything else, what they're looking at in terms of target identification, the laser there is secondary so that you know if you were aiming, if I was aiming again right here at this bullseye, the, the tactical hive icon, I want my attention to be there. And if I see the laser go here as a secondary, as for my peripheral vision, then it would tell me that I'm off target, right? A lot of beginners are always going to be looking for that laser rather than focusing on where they want to hit. So that's just something to keep in mind. I do really like the system. There's nothing wrong with it, but just train properly. And there's, there's a lot of other things that we can dive into when it comes to proper dry fire training. But when it comes with a laser, that stands out right now. So if you're interested in buying this, um, you know we value really good training. And this is a really good product that we recommend, but make sure you're dry firing properly. The last thing to consider if you're planning to buy the Blackbeard system is what I talked about earlier. So this is the older model. They have the Blackbeard X, but you may not need or want the Blackbeard X because you might already have the Mantis X10 Elite. Remember the major differences are that the standard Blackbeard system is going to work with the Mantis X10 Elite separately, meaning you would have to attach the sensor here or to your rightful, but it can work together. The Blackbeard X has a native integration. So right now, if you notice, this magazine is a 20 round magazine. The Blackbeard X uses a longer magazine that is reminiscent of a 30 round mag. And also it's because there's the integrated Mantis X10 sensor in that magazine. So with the Blackbeard X, you don't have to worry about another component to add to your rightful or the magazine. But operationally, everything is the same. So if you're interested more in the trigger reset and the laser, then maybe you don't want the Blackbeard X. The Blackbeard X is a little bit more expensive, but then you are going to get that native integration with the Mantis X10 Elite. And if you're unaware of what the Mantis X10 Elite is, we'll leave a link as well below so you can read how the two systems work hand in hand. And the Mantis X10 Elite is also another product that we highly recommend. I want to wrap up the review by talking about how the Blackbeard system has helped me. First, it really has made me proficient with my holdovers and I'll practice at my home or at a range indoors where I can see the laser, I'm close to my targets, I can immediately tell if where I put my red dot is exactly where I wanted it to be. Going back to that example I gave you earlier, for me, at certain distances, close distances, if I wanna hit this bullseye, I need to aim about three inches higher. So my red dot would be three inches higher so the laser hits the bullseye here. And I can immediately get that feedback doing drills, running around, I can see if I have my proper holdover. So that's something I've been able to rep, do a lot of reps and get immediate feedback. Second, the Blackbeard system has made training more realistic in the sense that I'm having proper trigger manipulations here. The trigger's resetting. It feels exactly like my trigger. I do not have to take time to charge my handle. And it's, it's something where you're going to learn your trigger much faster and you're gonna build that intimate sensitivity. You know when the trigger is going to break. You know how it's going to reset. So it's very realistic when it comes to trigger manipulation. And everything else, you now know where your shot's going because of the laser. So the auto resetting mechanism is gonna help you work on trigger control, shooting fast and accurately, and then the laser also reinforces your accuracy. So it makes things much more realistic, just like live fire. The last way the Blackbeard system has really helped me is that it's made dry fire more enjoyable. I like the fact that I can really shoot fast, accurately, as many shots as I want. I get a really good feel and I see that laser. It's no longer this boring, stale dry fire session. I have immediate feedback and so, if things are more enjoyable, most people are going to do more of it. So this, is, this system allows you to have fun while you're practicing. When it comes to competition out there, alternatives, there really isn't anything like this out in the market right now. There's no other options. This is the only automatic resetting trigger that I know of that also shoots a laser. 
and it feels exactly like your own trigger. So if you are thinking about getting the Mantis but wondering if there's anything else out there, this it's truly just this. The, the Mantis Blackbeard is in a league of its own right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Blackbeard system. I've really put this through the ringer. It's been a year of almost daily use, lots of trigger pulls, countless pulls, um, very slight complications. As mentioned, just that the motor kind of going wacko a few reps, but then it goes back to normal. And it could be again, because I've been using it for a year. But other than that, no catastrophic failures, just the benefits completely outweigh any of the cons or shortcomings that I've discussed. And it really is a good system. I highly recommend it. And if you wanna get your hands on one, we're offering an incentive if you buy the Blackbeard through our link below or our link up top here. If you do purchase the Blackbeard system through our link and you send us the receipt at info at tacticalhive.com, what we're going to do is we're going to give you access to our course, Carbine Essentials. If you're a beginner, don't know how to really truly manipulate a carbine or AR-15, that course is going to give you the basics so that as you dry fire with your Blackbeard system, you know you're doing things the proper way. So you're not do, building bad habits. You actually have a baseline, a good baseline to work from. So all you have to do to get access to Carbine Essentials with your purchase of the Blackbeard system is to purchase the system through one of our links in this video or our text review, which is also in the description of this video below. And then send us your receipt at info at tacklehive.com. We will confirm your order and then send you access by email to the course. If you guys like the review and want to see more reviews like this, please give us a thumbs up. If you have the Blackbeard system, let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time.